Hello, Pet Platter Talk family. So it's been a while since we've done this, but um, we're back on the eating well side, or we're trying to at least. So it's a Tuesday here when we're filming this. Um, worked all day, did some pre-planning for the week as far as what we would kind of eat, because I think that's the hardest thing that when you are um, trying to eat well, um, if you don't have things planned out ahead of time, you're never going to eat well because it takes too long, right? So what I decided was one of the meals that I was going to make was going to use spaghetti squash and that's what I have in front of me. So really quick on the spaghetti squash, very, very easy to make. Um, normally you'll see videos where people will tell you to slice them um, the oblong way, which is I think kind of dangerous itself because if your blade isn't sharp enough, your, your spaghetti squash goes all over the place. So what I've done is I've actually just laid my spaghetti squash down and I cut it in half. So if you can imagine the other half here, and I just sliced it right in half. I did a little olive oil, a little salt and pepper in here. I put it face down and then I put it in the oven for about uh, 45 minutes at 350 degrees. But you'll want to check that um, when your knife can penetrate the skin fairly easy, you know that it's done. You don't want to overcook the spaghetti squash though, because if you do, um, you're going to get a bunch of mush as opposed to your long strands. Now the reason that I, um, the reason why that I cut it this way as opposed to the other way as well is because by cutting it this way, as you can see, you kind of get long strands of spaghetti squash, which is what you want because you want to pretend like you're eating spaghetti. Uh, you don't want to miss the carbs. You want that action there. So as you can see, it comes away very easy just by putting my fork in and pulling away. And then if you notice, as I lift it up, you've got nice long strands of spaghetti squash. So you might be asking what I'm going to do with this. Well, what I ended up doing was I uh, yesterday I roasted some chicken breast in the oven. I did six big chicken breasts so I could use them throughout the week for lunches and for dinners and so forth. And I decided I was going to make a uh, chicken cacciatore of sorts um, on the healthy side. So I took some um, onions, some um, garlic, I took some, um, a little bit of wine, some diced tomatoes, some um, mushrooms, uh, some fresh basil, um, and I turned that into a very fresh, and well, as, as well as that chicken, um, into a very fresh chicken cacciatore. Um, when I was growing up, we used to call it kitchen cacciatore because we didn't know that it was actually chicken in it. So, <laughs> uh, so as you can see, getting all this out, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add this to my pan. Well, let me bring my pan over here real quick so you can see what that looks like. And I'm gonna add this to my pan. And I'm gonna let the spaghetti squash just kind of finish off in here. And you can see, really simple. Oh, I've got fresh, I've got some roasted red pepper and yellow pepper in here as well to give it a little extra flavor. And so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this in. And I'm going to stir it up. And I'm gonna put it back on the stove just for a couple minutes so it can incorporate. And you've got a really healthy, fresh uh, meal that you're not gonna feel bad about eating, especially if you're trying to eat healthier and lose a little bit of weight. So, thank you so much. We'll be back in just a minute. I'll get this all plated up for you. You can see what it looks like when it's all done. And we'll be right back. Well, welcome back. Well, as you can see, we've got the chicken cacciatore with the fresh spaghetti squash all in and done. I'm just going to chop up a little bit of fresh basil and I'm going to plate it and put a little fresh basil on top. Doesn't it look good? So you've got your fresh spaghetti squash, you've got your beautiful diced tomatoes, red and yellow roasted peppers, mushrooms, chicken. Now, if you eat like this, you're not gonna miss the carbs, you're not gonna miss the processed foods and so forth. I'll put a little to the side here. Take a little fresh basil, put that on top. It's just like going to a restaurant, but even better because you've made it yourself and it's healthy and good. And I am gonna take a quick bite. Mm. Mmm. Now oh, that's good. Thanks for joining us. Try this at home soon. I know you're going to love it. This is Scott from Flatter Talk. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.